Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily add a spooky, foggy, misty area to anywhere on your console or your PC server with a few easy lines of code. What I'm going to be doing is um, talking you through the whole process. So you can see here I've added some mist around the church uh, yard at Cherno. So how do we do this? Okay, so what I have done is I have put together a, a GitHub repository, and I'll put a link in the description below this video that has the code snippet that you need down here. And what you need to do is you need to change the name of the area name, and you need to get a different X and Z coordinate. And then you need to insert this code snippet into your CFG game sorry cfg effect area .json file on your server and then restart it but i'm getting a little ahead of myself so let's go back and let's kind of uh, start with um the uh, the thank yous because none of this would be possible with the likes of the work from don sibley so i'll put a link in the description below this uh, video to his channel and also the amazing resource that is Balshad's coding discord and again I'll put a link to this discord in the description below this video basically whenever I want to do anything on Daisy when it comes to especially console modding uh, nine times out of ten I end up in Balshad's uh, discord because it is a resource he has instructions on how to do things so it's really really cool so join say hello tell him where you came from um, it's an invaluable resource and the link will be in the description below this video okay so let's go and have a look at a server and get the file that we want to so go over to your servers uh, dashboard um, and then what you want to do is you want to go to the file browser here and then you want to go into the missions folder if it's a uh, Chernus server you're going to Chernus plus if it's a Livonia server you'll go into the Enoch bit um, on PC you've got to dig down a little bit further to get the missions folder but you get there eventually and then the file we want to edit is CFG effect area dot JSON. Now, the safest way to do this is to download the CFG effect area dot JSON, make a copy of it, and then open it in your favorite text editor. In this case, this is Notepad++. That way, if you make a mistake, you've got the original that you can re-upload. Um, or you can edit it on the website. I, I don't recommend you do this because if you make a mistake, uh, and it's easy to make a mistake, but you can do. So if we just click on CFG effect area.json, this will then open up. And what you need to do, this has the um, areas where the permanent uh, contaminated areas are, you know, like the ship at Riffy, and then the area at Pavlovo, is it Pavlovo? And obviously if you're on uh, Livonia, it'd be different. But all you need to do is you make a couple of spaces at the top after the first bracket there. And then what you can do is you go to my GitHub, and you can download the files from a GitHub if you want. If you click on code, um, downloads it, you can download it and extract it there. But it's quite small, so you can just copy it if you want. So you just copy all of that like so. And then we can uh, paste this in. And that's ready to go now. And then what you do is you change the name. So what we want to do is you want to go to the I Survive map. Um, again, choose the um, choose the map of your choice, and then let's say we wanted to add a spooky area around this church here. So all we do is we we keep our cursor over where that church is. We just do Control C, and that will copy that to the clipboard. Then if we go back to our server, see where it says X Z here, and if we just Control V or we right click paste, so this is going to paste the X and Z coordinates so we can copy all those we can go cut and then we can paste that over the top of the X like so and we can cut that copy that over the top of the Z so paste it over the top of the Z and get rid of that there and then we want to change the name to say Electro Church uh, Mist. How about that? Now, 
on here you'll notice we've got an X and a Z so we've got across and we've got up the zero is the altitude so what you always want to do is if you just want a nice mist or fog that sits on the ground then you leave that at zero and that will always hug the ground no matter what height it is if you're up somewhere high like um, Devil's Castle or um, somewhere like um, Green Mountain that it will always be on the ground so you can just leave that as it is um, and if we scroll down a bit you can see that the effect we're actually pulling in is called spooky mist which is quite cool I think isn't it and then this other stuff just makes sure that nothing nasty happens so this isn't like toxic gas or anything it's just it's just a particle effect that makes it look a bit misty and all you would then do is you then save the changes and then restart your server and that would then make sure that um, this uh, little spooky place and you can have as many of these as you want just remember that you would always sort of paste them at the top because if you notice this particular bit of code starts with an opening curly bracket and finishes with a closing curly bracket and a comma so you would put another one say if you want to do another one put it there and you can have as many as you want and they're really cool I think they add a nice little bit of um, immersion as well um, especially to things like the graveyards when they're a bit misty especially at night it'd be nice if there was a way of having having them so that they only came at night or early morning or in the evening something like that um, but anyway so that's how you do it um, again I'll put a link to the uh, github repository that has this nice little snippet that you can use and again a big thanks to Don Zib Sibley make sure you go over to his channel and subscribe massive thanks to um, Balshad's uh, coding discord because it's my go-to for everything to do with um, coding on Daisy really and uh, hopefully you found this really easy to use uh, code snippet um, worthwhile now if you've got any other questions about this sort of thing like just easy to use snippets where you don't have to try and figure out things for yourself they're almost uh, copy and paste um, let me know um, just say in the description say in the comment section below the description below this video um, and I'll put them on my list of uh, videos to do so there we go that's enough from me thank you very much and I'll see you again soon